Okay, so I'd like to look at uh, using matrices for um, solving a system of equations. Um, and probably the first thing I should do is just give you an example and show you three ways to solve a um, system of equations. So we're going to give it, be given a system of equations. Okay. Um, and we'll want to find um, its solution. Okay, and in this case, um, the system of equations is equation 1 being 3x plus y equals 4 meters, and 2 having, um, let's say, x minus y equal to 4 meters. All right. Uh, and we could do a pretty quick plot of that, right? And if we were to do a plot of that, we'd say, okay, um, what I have is um, y is equal to minus 3x plus 4. So we have a y-intercept up here um, and an x-axis here, right? Um, so we have plus 4 minus 3x, so if that's 45 degrees, it's a little bit less, right? So the slope will be like that. And then, um, so that's 1, and 2 is uh, y is equal to um, x minus 4 meters, right? Um, so we have the same amount down and a um, and something coming up like that. So that's two. Okay, and so we're looking for this point. Um, what is that point where they cross? Uh, that's what it means to solve a system of linear equations in um, two variables. Uh, I'm using the two variables because I want to be able to do a lot of different things with this and just show you exactly how the things work very, very simply, right, rather than um, just jump into it with three, uh, three by three or four by four matrix, at which point, um, you know, possibly uh, you wouldn't see what's actually going on. So let's see what our, what's our answer. Um, I think this is your usual approach. This is probably how you go about it, right? Um, I'm, I'm not completely sure how you how you go about it but my sort of feeling from working with students in the past is if you have a system of equations which you usually want to do is um, you want to solve uh, you know you initially want to solve um, one of these equations in this case we'll try two uh, for one of the variables in this case x right so you've got x here it's easy enough to say x is equal to y plus four meters right so we do that, we just say x is equal to y plus four meters, right? And then we substitute that into, into the other equation. Right? And when you do this, um, you just take three times whatever x is, which is y plus four meters, and then you add that on to whatever's next. This is the y. That's all equal to 4 meters. Okay. Um, and now it's just math, right? Now you're saying, okay, well, we've got 3y plus 12 meters plus y is equal to 4 meters. And so we get all the y's on one side and all the um, lengths on the other. So we have 4y is equal to um, minus 8 meters. So then we're going to say um, y is equal to minus 2 meters, right? Something like that. Um, and then after we've got the y there, uh, we substitute that y back into the other equation, or actually in uh, either of the equations. Um, but uh, 2 um, is actually the easier of the two. I'll move that up just a little bit. Uh, so we ha now have x minus minus 2 meters um, is equal to 4 meters. 
So minus minus two meters is two meters. We subtract that from over here. And so we have x is equal to two meters. So we, ha so we have then um, the coordinates x, y, right, are equal to um, two meters and minus two meters. Simple, straight, straightforward, and um, I mean it's it's easy enough to do usually if you have only two variables, usually, right? Um, but what if you have more, right? Well, if you have a small number of these equations, right, um, it might actually even be better, be um, easier to use a sort of algebraic approach. Not algebraic. Um, that was I was doing algebra last night, but it's now past noon and I don't have any more ale. Um, so first, what I do in this case is I just take these two um, equations, right? Three x plus four y is equal to four meters, and then I have x minus y is equal to four meters, and I just add the equations. And so I just add this equation to that equation. So x's go with x's. We have 4x. y plus y minus y is 0 equals 4, plus, 4 meters plus 4 meters is equal to 8 meters. Um, so x is equal to 2 meters. Right? And then we'd um, substitute into 2. Um, well, actually, let me do that the other way. Uh, normally what I do is I just substitute this into 2. We, we pretty much did that already. Uh, so let's look at adding the equations again. So I could also subtract the equations, right? All right, and in the subtraction case, what I do is I take 3x plus y is equal to 4 meters, and I subtract three times x minus y equals four meters, right? Um, and that will cancel out these x's. And I'd have y minus minus y, three y, which is um, four y is equal to four minus 12, which is minus eight meters. So y is equal to minus two meters, and we end up with the same result, right? So that's all we really cared about. You know, we get everything back that we wanted. Um, but even here, you know, this requires a lot of choice, right? Uh, this requires a lot of um, work. And if you have a larger number of um, larger system, then that might not be possible. So instead, we might want to use um, some sort of method that we could automate, right? And, um, and that's what these matrix methods are. Right, and so we'll use this um, this matrix method, um, and what we'll do here is we'll just say, okay, we've got all of our um, first. We'll set up the matrix, right, and we've got all of our um, numbers and things um, implied, right? So. Really, we've got this matrix A times this vector X is equal to these answers here, which are um, whatever our answers are, A. Um, but we're going to just sort of imply this um, X. Right? Instead, we'll set up a matrix 3, 1, 1, minus 1. Right? Uh, so these just come from the coefficients of the X's and the Y's. X is in one column, Y is in the other column. Each row set is a different um, equation. And the answers will be on the other side of this little um, dashed line here at four meters and one meter. And what's going to happen is if I can manipulate, manipulate this so that this is the identity matrix, then what I'd be saying is that um, one, zero, zero, one times um, x and y is equal to uh, a, and if I do that, 
the identity, identity matrix times that vector is just x and y. So um, a, whatever is left over on this side, maybe I should call it a prime, whatever is left over on this side is just going to be our answers. Nice and simple. Um, you read about it in your book, you've seen it in linear algebra. Uh, we'll just um, go through it and give you an example. All right, and the best way to do this is just to start trying to eliminate things, right? We can reorder later. That's not an issue. Uh, we don't even have to reorder, but we'll reorder just because it's helpful for your brain. But um, we can reorder at the end, but first we want to start eliminating, um, eliminating entries. And I'll start that, that process off by saying, okay, I'm going to take R1 and add it to R2 and replace R2 with that. So R2 prime is going to equal R1 plus R2, and that's going to um, that's going to eliminate this entry, right? It's going we'll we'll just end up having um, four zero, right? Three plus one is four, one minus one is zero, and four plus four is eight, right? And we have our original thing here. And so that's our first, um, that's sort of our first process, right? And that gets us right here. We did, that's exactly the same thing. I mean, literally, all we have done, even though we've, we're looking at it in terms of this matrix, is what I did right here, all right? Um, three, uh, then I'll take this and I'll um, reduce it. So that R2 prime is going to be R2 over 4, right? So I'm going to have this 1, 0, 2. Okay, 3, 1, 1, 0, 4 meters, 2 meters, right? And um, no, this is minus 8, excuse me. So this is minus 2. Um, no, this is 8. Uh, Like I said, it's easier for your brain um, after you flip it. So we're here, we've just gotten here. That's, that's all I've done, right? I've gone from this step to that step. Um, four, um, we'll, we'll want to eliminate um, another entry. So what we'll do is we'll place R1 by a, with R, what we have R1 here minus three times what we have for R2, right? So when we do that, um, we end up with zero, right? Th um, three minus three times one is three, is zero. We have one minus three times zero, which is one. And we have four minus three times two, so this is minus six plus four is minus two meters, one zero two meters. Okay. Isn't that amazing? I mean, that's almost exactly like um, over here when we substituted back into two, right? Um, only this, in this case, it's um, that, that reduced thing. Um, Actually, it's exactly this thing. So um, we're doing the same thing with the matrix that we had done um, that we had done with uh, with algebra over here. And again, the reason why this is going to be important is because this procedure you can't really automate very well. It's kind of, it's kind of difficult. It's kind of weird to do that. But in this case, you've just got um, a bunch of um, a bunch of a, uh, numbers in a matrix in a table that you can manipulate based on their positions, right? Um, based on some simple rules. So this is just an, this is a much simpler, more algorithmic procedure. Okay, uh, this guy and this guy, this guy especially, and this guy to some degree. Um, require some choice, some thought on your part, right? 
This one um, requires absolutely no thought. You can do this brute force, just follow this procedure. Um, and it will be very, very easy to do. You're keeping track of the problems that you've had. So you, if I had if I had compared this to this in the um, three by three case, uh, and when I was playing around with your homework, that's one of the things I did um, just to make sure I got the right answer, um, because I trust this one and this one. Uh, sometimes to do things, I have to use lots of fractions to end up with whole number of things, uh, which in the which I'll show you in the next video. That that happens in the next video. Um, so um, I can do this one staying in the land of nice round whole numbers most of the time and not have many issues, right? Where I mean, as long as the answers here are whole numbers. Um, whereas over in this one, a lot of times you'll get into fractions and decimals even when you don't need them for the answer um, as you're going through this procedure. Um, now, if you're a calculator, if you're a um, computer, that's not an issue, right? Because to you, a floating point number and a um, and a um, integer just varies the amount of um, just varies the amount of memory it takes in your system. Uh, for you as an individual, um, you're probably much uh, more. Um, you have a higher acuity with integers than with decimals or fractions. Um, so. You, you know, play to your strengths usually uh, you're, when you're doing um, homework problems in other classes. Uh, but it's good to know how to do this because when you get into those five by fives and those six by sixes and stuff like that, you're going to want a procedure that more or better that better mimics um, what the computer does, so you don't have to sit around and make lots and lots of choices. And sometimes those choices will end up being wrong. Okay. Um, so this this has some uh, this particular part here, this algebraic method, has some pitfalls that you can run into, um, and you will run into if you do it over and over. Whereas this one, it's much more difficult to run into those pitfalls because when you're sitting here eliminating things and getting rid of the old information, um, you end up with all sorts of wonderful, uh, it, it, you know, you eliminate that old information, you can no longer get tripped up by that old information. The, but like I said, there's a, there's a loss elsewhere. Um, so I hope that helps you understand what's going on with all this Gaussian elimination stuff. I'll give you a more, more robust example of the um, Gaussian elimination in the next video. Uh, in that case, what I'll do is I'll have a three by three, made, a three by three, or three variables and or three equations and three unknowns. I'll have a system of three equations, I have three unknowns, and we'll um, figure out all those other fun things that come from that. All right.